Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle isn't your ordinary Blaze Blue game. Instead, it's a tag team style game with characters spanning from all different types of Arc System Works franchises. Now, I followed this game back when it was released in 2018, and though I think it looked really fun, I never got it until January 2021. And besides Street Fighter V, which I only played for a little bit, this is my first real fighting game. I play a ton of Smash Ultimate, but when it comes to real fighters, this is one of my firsts. Okay, enough with the backstory. Should you buy slash play Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle in 2021? The short answer is yes with an asterisk, because even though I think this game is really fun, I also think it's a bit overpriced for what you're getting. Also, before I go any further, please consider carefully tapping that subscribe button, because that would really make my day. I should preface by saying I played this game on a PS4 with an arcade stick. It's available on PC and Switch, both of which I heard are just okay. But if your friends play on either of those, then buy that version, because this game does not support cross-platform play. BB Tag released in mid-2018 and was a crossover of Blaze Blue, Persona 4 Arena, Undernight in Birth, and Ruby. I haven't played any of those Arc System Work games, nor have I watched Ruby, but I've heard good things about all of them. Over the years, more franchises and characters were added to the game, some of which players think should have been in the game already. In fact, two of the main Ruby characters aren't in the game by default and have to be downloaded separately, but they are free, so it's not too much of a negative. With the DLC, there are a total of 53 characters which you can buy either separately or by getting the special edition of the game. I bought the standard edition which was on sale for $5, so I can't say if they're worth the money or not, but it's an extra 30 characters and just by looking at the gameplay, they do seem kind of fun. Now, this game does have the issue of the DLC fighters being some of the best characters in the game, so just take that into consideration. The game includes a story mode which explains how all the different characters came together, but I didn't play it, but it's extra content, so I won't complain. Graphics and sound are probably the best part of this game, as the graphics look sharp, and the user interface and special effects look great as well. And the sound effects and music are also good too. Now, the hub of the game has these chibi characters running around, which looks good, but the best looking part of the game is the actual fighting. Now, the game has been out for three years at this point, which means player counts are going to be small, but you won't have any problems finding anyone to battle. And if you're worried you'll only find people who have like 28,000 wins, don't. There's going to be plenty of people around your skill rating. Now, fair warning, if you're like me and have not played an anime style fighting game before and you try to go online to play, you will get destroyed. It's going to take a lot of work on your end to learn the mechanics of the game, but after a week or two you should have the basics down and you should be able to hold your own online. Gameplay is a tag style game which means you can control multiple people and can switch at any time. I can tell you I personally like the style of gameplay, but I know it's not for everyone so it really just comes down to user preference. Something worth mentioning is that this game does not have rollback netcode. If you don't know what that is, it's basically the preferred way to play fighting games. It's a lot more complicated than that, but long story short, it makes your games less stuttery. So, is it worth getting? So the pros are, it's a fun game, good graphics and sound, awesome characters with good variety, and there's also good tutorials in-game and online. The cons are, you pay $20 for 20 characters, a stable albeit small amount of players playing, no rollback netcode, more DLC characters than base characters, which most of them are the best characters in the game, no major updates in a long time, and no crossplay. I say $20 for the base game is a bit too expensive. $10 is what I would pay max for the base game, and I don't recommend buying the special version at all unless you are 100% sure you are willing to invest the time into the game. If you want to buy the DLC later, I recommend winning 50 online battles first just to make sure you understand the mechanics of the game, and to reassure yourself if you enjoy the game that much to splurge on it. If you do decide to buy the game, then there are a ton of good character guides and combo videos to get you started. And that's all I have to say about BB Tag. If you enjoyed, sub to the channel for more, and take care.